Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to quickly come on and show you how to make this really simple DIY black soap face wash. Um, the ingredients you're gonna need is of course black soap, some castor oil, some argan oil, sweet almond oil, some vitamin E oil, some frankincense oil, some glycerin, some neem oil, rosehip oil, and then seabuck thorn oil. And of course you're gonna need a container to store it in. I'm using this travel size 3.4 ounce container. Disclaimer guys, I'm not an esthetician. I'm just showing you guys what I've been doing and what has been working for me. In the words of my league till, take what you need and leave the rest. I have seen improvements with using this, so I thought that I would share here with YouTube. Um, but if you do not think this would be beneficial for you, that is okay too. Please do not butcher me in the comments. This is just something that I've been doing that I have seen uh, has worked for my skin. Um, I did wanna show you guys a before and after. This was actually in September, I believe. I didn't have any other progress pictures to show you so my apologies there but as you can see that my skin definitely has improved while using this consistently when I use it consistently I do see improvements I also use this on my back and it has cleared up my back acne so yeah definitely beneficial for me all right guys getting right into it you're gonna need a knife and some type of measuring tool um, I'm gonna start off with cutting the black soap I like to just cut a small thin layer just because I am using a smaller container I don't need as much black soap to fill it up um, so I'm just gonna cut a thin layer and start to dice it up some of the benefits of black soap is that it clears helps clear acne it's antifungal and also helps with skin texture um, so if you are using organic black soap it should definitely look something like what I have and then I'm just gonna simply chop it up um i know a lot of people may also use a grater to do this i just don't deem it necessary since my container is so small and i do like to make smaller batches so i don't necessarily have to grade it and um, a knife just works fine so i'm just going to fill it up um, with the chunks that I just diced up and I like to fill it up halfway That's how much black soap I use for this particular container is halfway um, And that's just like my little eyeball marker to know that I have enough So while I chop it up, I am then going to add some hot water into the container um, I like to do this at the hot water before I make my uh, add my oils I'm not sure if you can do it in reverse I'm pretty sure you can but this is what I do and as you can see it instantly starts to melt the black soap so I let it melt a little bit before I add my oils um, I'm going to start adding the oils, starting with neem oil. Some benefits of neem oil is that it treats acne, treats dry skin, and helps reduce scarring. It is a very strong oil, so I would air with a side of caution. I am only going to use three drops of neem oil for this. Next, I'm going to use rosehip oil. Um, some benefits of rosehip oil is that it moisturizes, even out skin tone, and helps with collagen production. Um, I'm going to use about 10 drops of this stuff because it is very good for the skin. Next, I'm going to use five drops of sea buckthorn oil. Some benefits of sea buckthorn is that it prevents acne, boosts elasticity, as well as improves skin health. It does have a color to it. It's orange, so please be careful when using this because it does stain. Um, next, then I'm going to go over to my castor oil. Love castor oil. Some benefits of castor oil. It's moisturizing, helps treat fine line wrinkles, as well as reduces acne. Um, I usually try to do 10 drops of castor oil, but I kind of eyeball it because the container doesn't really allow Allow me to do 10 drops um, but with this oil is very beneficial so I don't mind going overboard um, next is going to be argan oil just showing you guys that it's argan oil just in a different container some benefits of argan is that it's moisturizing scar healing helps with anti-aging and sun damage really love argan oil as well I use it on my body and I'm going to use about 10 drops of argan oil and I can measure that out because it is in a better container next we have frankincense which helps heal blemishes balances dry skin and even out skin tone I use about five Five drops of this stuff um, which I, I like as well one of my favorites vitamin E oil some benefits of vitamin E it helps with hyperpigmentation helps with fine lines as well as skin repair one of my favorites so I'm going to use about 10 drops of vitamin E oil really love this stuff Another favorite, sweet almond oil. It helps dry skin, treats acne, as well as improve complexion. I'm going to use about 10 drops or so of this. I don't have a way to measure, but it's about 10 drops or a little bit more. Really love sweet almond oil. It's one of my favorites. 
Last ingredient is glycerin. I am gonna use my measuring tool. Some benefits of glycerin is moisture, it moisturizes heel skin as well as acts as a preservative. Um, I like to measure out glycerin because this is one of the first projects where I actually am using it, so I'm not as familiar with it as the other oils, so I like to err on the side of caution. As always, please make sure that you guys test out all of these oils before you use them on your skin to make sure you are not allergic to them or that they irritate you. I would just really hate for you guys to have any bad side effects from using this um, but yeah we are done um, I'm just going to add a little bit more water to the mixture to kind of top it off put the top on shake it up let it uh, marinate and kind of dissolve a little bit more before I use it and and that's it like that's literally it all right as it dissolves it is ready to be used once you can't see any of the black chunks anymore and I'm just showing you guys what it looks like in real time as you can see it definitely has a really good lather um, I have been using this consistently uh, for the last couple of months and I have seen results I have I am getting over an acne breakout because I ran out and I was trying to wait to film this to make some more and I was just using something else and it did not work so I definitely know that this helps with my acne it definitely helps with my texture of my skin and just has had a really great impact on my skin I only use this once a day so I, this is in my nighttime routine so I just want you guys to know this isn't the only cleanser that I am using but it definitely is a cleanser that I've added that has made a difference I've always just gone back to the DIY black soaps no matter what cleanser I use and I just thought that I'll share with you guys in case it could be beneficial for you as well um, and this is just me showing you guys that after I cleanse my skin, it's clean and yeah, see you guys in the next one.